in the environment because sometimes it's our environment that's hindering yes. us. Yes. The word of God has healing, being in his presence daily. You have yes. daily bread which is nourishing you and strengthening you. Yes. That is time being yes. put in one on one time between you and God yes. and no one else. Yes. And we have to just take it all in, absorb it. The pruning season is not fun, but it is necessary. Yes. Those things not of God, those old things you thought you were over, when we say God have your way, but we want to hold on to this. Uh, we want to yeah. hold on to this. Yo, 
If you really love God, why don't you do what God tells you to do? If, how many really say? Really, really know you know you say. Now listen. When was the last time you witnessed to somebody? When was the last time you prayed for somebody? When was the last time you helped somebody out? Last week, that's too long. God is looking for you to do something each and every day for somebody. Yes. Yes. Don't wait for somebody to ask you. Get this. Because if I'm a fig tree and I got figs, get this. People are going to pull on me. <laughs> People are going to pick from me. Yes. Get this. And I'm not going to expect nothing in return as long as I'm making them happy. Yes. As long as I'm giving them substance instead, we'll give them life. Yeah, but they help me. Substance instead, we'll give them life and give them strength to hold on a little while. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. To him that bareth no fruit, it is sin. The scary thing, get this. That we come to church and we just say and satisfied and not doing nothing and knowing that God's called you to do something but you don't want to let go of the stuff that you're doing so you're going to stay there and judge everybody else by what they ain't seen you doing in your eyes but you ain't doing nothing yourself he plants a fig tree in his vineyard tell your neighbor, say, neighbor I've been handpicked by God I've been chosen by God. Get this, get this, get this. You didn't pick him, he chose you. And the best thing about it, God knows who oh, He knows what he put in you. And the reason why you can't get past yourself is because you're still looking at yourself. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm getting my eyes off me and put my eyes on him. Because I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. God is hungry for people that's hungry for him. So when we come to church and we're concerned about looking good and talking good and just talking a bunch of noise, ain't saying nothing because we're trying to look good in front of the eyes of the people. I'm going to tell you this. It don't matter how I look before you, long as if I'm not right before you. All right. Because y'all put everybody in here to be standing up, but if God sitting down, I ain't got nobody. I'm all by myself. Because get this, one thing about God, if God is on your side, brother, we on his side, then he'll never leave it off and save you. So you know how folks just focus focus sometimes, but they need to tomorrow and they gone. Well, I always be there for you, and next thing you know, you look over and you lean on me, you fall and straight to the floor because you have no kind of support. Another thing about the fig tree, get this, when Adam and Eve sinned, they covered themselves in fig leaves. So there was a fig tree without fruit. When Jesus came, the, the, Lord, the, the Bible said, the voice of God will come and walk with him in a cool day. Get this, and God came and did this looking for Adam. He said, Adam, where art thou? Hear me. God is asking you today, where are you? You used to come and spend time with me. You used to come and play with me and talk with me. But now you're too busy going about your own business each and every day. You don't have time to sit down and talk. And get this, regardless of your past mistake, today is a good day to get up and dust yourself off and get back in the clock. Well, I was this. I was that one time. I was in a job. I was this in the church. And I was that. But I got hurt. Hear me. How long you going to cry over spilled milk? I would be doing this, but I was hurt. Get this. Fear will paralyze you. And then some people, get this, will use fear as an excuse to do nothing. I'm this way because what was done to me. Get this. Regardless of what happened to you, don't give a right to me. Y'all was in the house. And I get so upset. Get this, get this. Because get this, everything that I've been through in my life, God, hear me, allowed me to go through it. And the best part, when I gave it, turned it over to him. And he will work it out. How many know the song? And then Roman 8 and 28, for we know that all things work together for the good to them. That love the Lord is to those that are called according to his purpose. Everything ain't good, but when you turn it over to him, do some kind of way turn it over and make it work out for your best. Right. 
Isn't this something how God will take things that are detestable, that we hate, and let it happen to us just to show us that he's with us? That's right. Just to show us, I know what I put in you. Because we didn't even know how strong he could be until we went through it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so God allows, get this, all of us have different issues. We go through our issues, get this, to turn them over to him. So once we get delivered from the issue, we can go back and help someone else yeah. with the same issue. Come on here and say, I'm a witness. Yeah. That he delivered me, if he delivered me, he can deliver yeah. you too. But how can I witness to somebody when I'm still in bondage myself? Two blinded men can't say they're hot each other. They give a God want you to get saved and deliver so he can use you to pull others from the pits of hell. They give us a name out. It's time for us to rise up as the church and bear fruit. I don't like going to church because the church is a bunch of hypocrites. Well, come show us how to live. <laughs> Ain't nobody right in church. All church is about money. When you go to Walmart, they all about money. Child. You walk out there, some walk out there with, with, without using any any money. I'm, come on here. Use the five finger discount. They're gonna give you two gold uh, silver bracelets. <laughs> Cop. <laughs> <laughs> get this. When church become about money, I'm talking about preachers preaching about money and talking about you ain't blessed unless you give and you ain't blessed unless you God is blessing you financially. Listen here. Blessing of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. Understand what I'm going to say. Just because you have a lot of money don't mean you're blessed. Amen. 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 Just because you got a nice car, nice house don't mean you're blessed. Just because you got a husband and wife, you don't, you don't, you don't mean you're blessed. Come Amen. out. Right. When you got Jesus on the inside, yes. working on the outside, yes. oh, you know you're blessed. Yes. Say, hey, I'm blessed. Matter of fact, I'm better than blessed. Yes. And, and here, another thing that we need to stop doing, stop complaining. Every time you complain, you know you shut a blessing off. Pray give us a close your mouth and stop complaining. Come on and start lifting and say, Lord, I thank you. Even though I may not even be able to describe it with words, I can lift my hand and cut my head back and say, Oh, God. Hallelujah. I know you know what I mean, Lord, and God. Pray give us a name. It could be a whole lot closer than what it is right now. Thank you, Lord. that God is trying to cut away from us. Because it don't feel good. One thing also about when you when you cut a prune, get this, you cut away something, get this, to make room for greater. Because what it's going to do, when it grows back, it buds even more. So what are you saying? What you lose now cannot compare to what God is going to give you today. If you let go of it right now, tell him I'm letting it go, I'm letting it go. If that man ain't for me, I'm letting it go. If that woman ain't for me, I'm letting it go. If that job ain't for me, if that come on here that car, if I'm letting it go, why? Because I want everything that God had for me. I'm tired of selling for less. This storehouse with all this stuff up in here. He said, God, I, he said, I, I had all this for you, but you didn't believe it. Mm. Can I tell you? If you are evil, stop hanging with chickens. Come on. Careful. If you ain't a buzzer, stop hanging with buzzers. Mm. Yeah. Come on here. Let's get this. He could hang with a chicken long enough. Get this, he's going to realize I'm not one of them. They lunch. <laughs> what I'm saying, you got to watch who you connect with in your yeah. sense. You got to watch who you, come on. And you got you to know what you plan. See, what's wrong with a, a, a lot of us? 
We here but don't know where we are. We here and we just here. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't growing, I ain't being productive. That means you coming and hearing but not doing. Amen. You coming here and you're just falling deaf ears. Other people going up around you, you get mad. Why? Why is everything the same? Because what are you doing? Yeah. Get this. Your growth, your spiritual growth is not hinging on nobody else but you. Yeah. Everyone here, the devil himself can't stop you from growing spiritually. It's your choice. Yeah. Whether you apply the word or you're going to believe God and he is God, come on here. And God is looking for people, saints of God, that will call on his name but, but, but regardless of what they're going through. They're able to trust God. Get this when they don't have a dime in their pocket. They will know that the Lord is my shepherd. See, one thing you need to know, you need to be able to study the word of God because every problem you have, the word of God has an answer to. Everything. And the reason why we don't know it is because we're destroyed for lack of knowledge because we don't take time to study the word of God. God. And so if we take time to study it, get this, the more we study or rehearse it, it'll bring forth growth and productivity in our lives. But hear me, there's a lot of people that know the word, but they ain't doing it. Why? Because it ain't in their heart. They got head knowledge, but no heart. Dedication. Don't lift your hands. I'm almost done. <coughs> Seven verse said, Then he said unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking <coughs> on the fig. Finally, get this. How long are you going to let the Lord go without? God has been seeking us for years to see if there's fruit or we're going to produce fruit. Hey, when you realize that <coughs> a tree should be none or fruit by now, and they haven't borne fruit in years, the best thing to do is cut it down and put it to the fire. Because uh -huh. it's taking up space. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. better help me in the house. But look here, God is so merciful, yes. giving us, man, I saw, I saw an angel now. He's so merciful, giving us an opportunity to get our lives in order today. The day you hear the Lord's voice, harden not your heart. And the thing with this, well, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep on living like I'm living. Saints, what if you die in your sin? Because everyone hear me. Now, the real church is being separated from the false church. Oh, my God. So you can't come and say, I'm saved, and you're still living in sin. Amen. Or practicing sin. You're not saved. You're not delivered. Because get this, <coughs> a man's treasure is there with his heart be also. So if your heart is in sin, who's your father? Uh -huh. It ain't God. Uh -huh. Come on. We got to get to the place where we love God more than anything. Hear me. What's the point of getting out of bed if we ain't going to change? Amen. If I'm not going to be safe, man, I just might as well just stay home and sleep on the sun. Come on here. Don't go to church. But if I'm going to come to church and play games, I don't want to play with my mind because I know if I'm saved or not. Amen. Ain't nobody got to tell me. Right. Y'all hear me? Amen. Nobody got to tell you, oh, you, you, you living in sin. You ain't right. Mm -hmm. Nobody got to tell you. Your heart already knows. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all be telling me. Come on, lift your hands. Yeah. Says this. He comes seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. He said, cut it down. By cumbering to the ground. Hear me. Why is it taking up space? It's just taking up space. Ain't doing nothing. Let me ask you this. How long are you going to come to church but never allow God to change you? You know the reason why? We don't want the Holy Ghost. We see people because what happened? So called Holy Ghosts, some time talkers. And truly misrepresented the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on here. Eco Shabbat, just because you're shaking and speaking in some kind of tongue, don't mean it's Amen. God. Come on, Amen. Amen. Because you got folk that speak in some kind of a tongue and lie right to your face. Yes. Say amen or ouch. Amen. <laughs> it has to be real. If I see you, Sister Janetta may, may, may offend me. Get this. But if I see her, it's my job, get this, regardless of if she offended me, even she has never offended me. I appreciate she's just as sweet as she can be. Amen. 
Amen. Come on, she real. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this, she ain't a pushover like some folks think she is. She's sweet. She's different. I'm going to say this. She's sweet. Is she real? This time she gave me this account and said, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Because get this. I would for a person get this and spit in my face and talk about how I'm Come on. Because the Bible says, if you have a problem with your own, go to the Amen. Look, first of all, put your gift on the altar. That's right. That's right. Leave it there until you get it right. Amen. I'm not going to come on and try to operate when I know I finished you. It doesn't be wrong. Y'all hear me? I can't even give up and try to preach that. Y'all love God and treat my wife like trash. Come on. Come on. Awesome, you know. Whoa, she awesome. Glory to the Lord. Amen. 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 They don't have the heart. Y'all hear me? I'm talking about it for people. Because when any position you have, you're going to come under attack. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get anybody here just lift your head and y'all can bear with me? Can anybody agree with what I'm saying? Especially when you're close to me, you're going to come under attack. Y'all hear me? And it's not going to be easy. But get this God counts you worthy. Everyone hear me? Anything that's coming up before you, God has already given you the vision to open. But you got to go through the door and you got to open it. You got to stop trying to do it. And get this, sometimes we fight against something that we actually fight against God. That's right. And God said, I just want you to just, just let go and let me have my way. And get this, then he order your steps. Yes. Hallelujah. Have you ever been praying about something and you couldn't figure out how to do it? Go to God all day long and just trouble you and you went to then you prayed about it, and all of a sudden, in the night, God gave you a dream. Yeah. You see the looking for something, and then the next morning, God, God gave you a dream to show you right where and you went right to where it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He speaks. But many times, we're not listening because our minds are elsewhere. Amen. So, on the friends. Think about when bear fruit. Get this. The only way you can bear fruit is first that you must die to yourself. See, you cannot bring forward, get this, increase until it first dies. That's yes, right. going around and die. Get in the dirt. Right. Stay in and sometimes you're going to get dirty. Right. And people are going to water you with lies. Amen. But get this, the sun, the sun is still shining. Yes. This going to cause you to break out. Yes. Help me yes. 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 Before you come up, you got to first take root. Yes. You have a lot of people get this, try to come up without having any foundation. Y'all hear me? And it takes time to build a solid foundation in the Lord. Yeah. You have so many people, that's why I get this. You can be in church 40 and 50 years and still be unstable yeah. because you don't have yeah. no firm foundation. Yeah. 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 Too busy going about what the preacher says. Listen here, I don't want you to go off what I say. I want you to make sure it's according to God's word. Y'all yeah. hear me? Get this, and then, get this, try in the spirit. I'm not ashamed for someone to try me by the spirit of God. Amen. Why? Because that way you make sure that you're not getting off. Make sure that hey, he's, on, he's on point. Come on. You want to know, get this. A lot of people thought they was in a, in a, in a true uh, 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 ministry until they realized they was in a cult. They didn't make a, oh, oh, that's, that's, that's a cult, this and that. No. They thought they were doing everything in the part of a true ministry. But what happened? Somewhere, someone got up. Oh, hear me. And that's why you got to be so sensitive to the need of the Spirit of God. And when God is dealing with you about someone or something, look at this. You know you're feeling uneasy about it. Stop rushing. Oh, that's just such and such. Oh, just, no, that ain't nothing. That, that's the Spirit of God trying to let you know something ain't right. Y'all hear me? And if you don't address it, it'll pull you in. Y'all hear me? Because that stuff starts going on you. And you be wondering, like, why in the world am I acting like this and doing like this? Amen. And before you know it, you be the fellow to the snare of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And he has you right where he wants you. Mm -hmm. 
that's why you have so many people get this in this sad who are out of church because they've been hurt because what they thought was so real was in them. Get this not being what they thought it was. And that's why the Bible said for every man to work out his own soul salvation with fear for everyone to have a personal relationship. Period. I don't want you to have a relationship with God like you. Have a relationship with God for you. Yes. 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 Come on here. Yes. Every one of us is different. Every one of us have something uniquely that we must offer to God that nobody else can. Mm -hmm. And our problem is we're too busy trying to be like everyone else yes. instead of finding ourselves in yes. Him. Yes. Y'all hear me? And, and, so, and so when people don't like us, we get mad. We sit down. I don't like people that always get mad when folks don't like us. My, my. There's a lot of folks that don't like me, but if you think it's not me from being who God has called me, come on here. Amen. If they did it to Jesus, don't you think that they're going to do it to you too? Amen. Amen. A friend of the world is an enemy with God. Yes. Come on, lift your hands. I'm going to blow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, and he answered, eight verse, and he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and be done. Ninth verse, and if we bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Everyone here will run for the sake. Now I feel the Holy Ghost right here. My God. God said, the Lord said, I'm going to give him another chance. In other words, another opportunity. Y'all come on with your hands. God has given us another chance today. Yes. Because yes. I want you to know that something living, I'm, this is this is more than prophetic. This is a, a I'm gonna say a rainbow word on time. She said, season of pruning. Yes. And then pass the negative and the friend. Get this. Give me. Because the night first, what year are we in? The 19th year. Y'all hear me. And it says, if it don't death this year, cut it down. Y'all hear me? Everyone hear me? That means judgment is going to come. And if we're not ready, get this, you're going to be left behind. Scary thing. Going to church all these years, singing to a God you don't even know. Praying to a God you have no relationship with. I was, I was a preacher. I was a teacher. I was a deacon. I was a doorkeeper. But still end up down there. Because you didn't want to let go of something. Everyone hear me. Get this. After the rapture, what you thought was so hard to let go, it ain't going to be no choice. Either life or death. Because even, get this. Why do you think all these things are being set up in position right now? Here, we going to church, watching the news, and we're hearing stuff, but we're not praying on it. And we believe in everything we hear instead of trying it in the spirit of God. Y'all hear me. News is just made to propaganda, to, make, yes. to build your mind into believing something that's not true. Yes. Yes. That's why the Spirit of God, the Word of God, over 2,000 years is still true. Yes. It's still true. Everyone hear me? You can have facts and you can have evidence that don't mean it's true. Anointing brings forth when you when you really know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes. 
Anybody can make you doubt it. What hurts me is there's so many people in church that shout. They have a gift. But they haven't become the gift. They haven't presented themselves to God. I'm saying to God, hear me. If we don't get it right now, we don't have another chance to get it right. After this life, then comes the judgment. And everything we, every opportunity we had to get right with God, our life is going to testify against us. No, you, well, Lord, such a simple. No, you did this, 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 this. And hear me. Everyone hear me. And I'm going to say this. Get the seeds of bitterness out your heart. If somebody wrong you, let it go. I don't care if it's brother, sister, mama, dad, church member. I don't care if it was me. Let it go. And I'm asking you personally, forgive me if I've done something to offend you. Because it wasn't my intention. Hear me. I, I tell you the truth because I love you. Come on. And the truth hurts. Glory to God. But I want to see you saved. I want to see you made here. Glory to God. The sad to say, everyone hear me. A lot of these mega churches, they got a lot of money, a lot of members. They ain't making it heavy. Because they're focusing on money and this new age religion. Yes. It ain't God. Holiness without shall no man see him. Everyone hear me? It goes for our babies. Mama, dad, tell you something? Don't disobey them. Don't fight and fuss. Come on. Love each other. Amen. Come on. But get this. How can I expect my children to follow something if I don't lead out? Amen. I can't witness to my children if I'm living like the devil myself. Amen. I gotta let it be real. I want everyone to be 